Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Kizla. In this video of rationalization, we are going to take a few questions where we have to find the value of A and B. So these are the few questions where we have to find the value of A and B through rationalization. Now why rationalization? Because in the denominator, in all these questions, you will find an irrational number which we have to convert into rational number through rationalization. So after solving it, whatever the value we get from that, we are going to find the value of A and B. So let us start with the first part. Now the first question is root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1 is equal to A plus B into root 3. Now if you see in the denominator, we have uh, an irrational number that is root 3. Now to solve this left hand side, we require rationalizing factor of root 3 plus 1 which is root 3 minus 1. So we will multiply the numerator as well as denominator by this rationalizing factor. Always remember the rationalizing factor is same terms but with the different sign plus will become minus. This is the only difference. Now we have root 3 minus 1 which was in the question multiply by the rationalizing factor root 3 minus 1. So both are same so we can say that root 3 minus 1 whole square. Now this becomes our identity 2 that is a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this is how we are going to solve it. In the denominator we have root 3 plus 1 root 3 minus 1 that means a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. Now this is identity 3. This is identity 3 where a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. And in both these cases numerator and denominator a is root 3 and b is 1. Right. Now let us uh, solve numerator first by using identity 2. Now root 3 minus 1 whole square. So root 3 whole square plus 1 whole square minus 2 into root 3 into 1 right so we have pu just put the values of a and b in the identity identity 2 right so square of root 3 is what 3 square of 1 1 2 into 1 2 and root 3 so minus 2 root 3 in the denominator we have root 3 whole square that is 3, 1 whole square that is 1, 3 minus 1, 2 and further 3 plus 1, 4, 4 minus 2 root 3. Now 2 is common, 2 we can take common in bracket, 2 minus root 3 upon 2, 2 and 2 will can cancel and we get 2 minus root 3. Now we are going to equate, we have already solved our left hand side which has come 2 minus root 3 and right hand side we have a plus b root 3. So clearly we can also say 2 minus 1 into root 3 is equal to a plus b root 3. So isn't a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 1 because root 3 is same. Root 3 is same. In front of root 3 we have minus 1 over here into root 3. So b is minus 1. So a value value of a is 2 and value of b is minus 1. So this is how we have solved this question. Now let us move to Second question. Now second question is 3 plus root 2 upon 3 minus root 2 is equal to a plus b into root 2. Now we have to solve the left hand side using the rationalizing factor of 3 minus root 2 which is 3 plus root 2. We have only changed the minus 2 plus sign. Now we shall multiply the numerator as well as denominator by this rationalizing factor. So over here plus and plus both are same so it is whole square here it is minus and plus that means it is a minus b into a plus b which becomes a square minus b square right now here it is identity 1 which is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and over here in the denominator it is identity 3 which says that a minus b or a plus b you can interchange it is equal to a square minus b square. Now in both these cases a is 
3 and b is root 2. Now we will just put the values and solve. So square of first of all square of 3 then square of root 2 right and then 2 into 3 into root 2 this will give us identity 1. Now identity 3 uh, 3 square minus root 2 whole square right. So now 3 square is 9 right square of root 2 is 2. 2 into 3 6 6 root 2 3 square 9 uh, square of root 2 2 9 minus 2 7 9 plus 2 11 6 root 2 right now 7 is the common denominator so we can write 11 by 7 plus 6 by 7 root 2 now if you compare the solution what we have got of this right with a plus b root 2 you will find that a is equivalent to what 11 by 7 and b is equivalent to what 6 by 7 right so this is, is our answer these are the values of a and b right now in third question we have root 5 plus 2 root 3 upon 7 plus 4 root 3 is equal to a plus b into root 3 now over here we have to rationalize the left hand side using the rationalizing factor so 7 plus 4 root 3 rationalizing factor will be 7 minus 4 root 3 you have to just change the sign plus will become minus now multiply the numerator as well as denominator by the rationalizing factor so over here if you observe in the numerator we have different uh, terms right different expressions so this are these are two binomials which we will solve binomial into binomial Whereas over here in the denominator you will observe we have a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. So over here in the denominator it is identity 3 where we can say a is 7 and b is 4 root 3. So accordingly we can say 7 square and uh, square of 4 root 3 right. So denominator is clear. Now in the numerator we have binomial into binomial. So first of all we will multiply 5 with 7 minus 4 uh, root 3 and then plus 2 root 3 into 7 minus 4 root 3. Right. So first 5 with these two terms and then 2 root 3 with these two terms. Right. So uh, after solving these brackets we will get 35 minus 20 root 3 plus 14 root 3 uh, minus 24 right now 35 minus 24 is 11 and minus 20 and plus 14 is minus 6 and 49 minus 48 is 1 so basically it is divided by 1 which is equal to 11 minus 6 root 3 right now when you equate the solution of this solution of this is 11 minus 6 root 3 so equate a plus b root 3 with 11 minus 6 root 3 so you will observe that your a your a is 11 and your b is minus 6 right so this is your answer these are the values of a and b so a is 11 b is minus 6 yes now in fourth question we have 5 plus root 6 upon 5 minus root 6 is equal to a plus b root 6. Now it seems to be very easy. We just have to rationalize the denominator by using rationalizing factor. So denominator is 5 minus root 6 whose rationalizing factor will be 5 plus root 6. So we have just changed the signs. Minus has become plus. Now multiply the numerator with the rationalizing factor. Even the denominator with the rationalizing factor. Now in numerator both are plus sign. So it will become whole square. In the denominator you have a minus b into a plus b which is equal to a square minus b square. Right. So this is your in the numerator you have identity 1. In the denominator you have identity 3. Where in both the cases a is your 5 and b is your root 6. Now let us solve by using uh, identity 1 and 3 identity 1 in the numerator put the values so first of all 5 square plus uh, root 6 whole square plus 
2 into 5 into root 6 right this is your identity 1 and in the denominator already a square minus b square so 5 square minus root 6 whole square right so now square of 5 is 25 square of root 6 is 6 right 2 into 5 is 10 10 root 6 so basically identity 1 is a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so i have just put the values in this identity and uh, identity 3 says whenever you have a plus b into a minus b these are the two factors so the product is a square minus b square so i have put the values in a square minus b square so over here uh, square of 5 is 25 and square of root 6 is 6 so 25 minus 6 is 19 and 25 plus 6 is 31 plus 10 root 6 so this we have got now since the uh, 19 is the common denominator we can also write as 31 by 19 uh, plus 10 root 6 by 19 so now if you equate the value of what we have got after rationalization equate a a is 31 by 19 and b is 10 by 19 yes root 6 is as it is right so now if you equate the solution after what we get from rationalization the value of a and b you can easily find that it is a is 31 by 19 and b is 10 by 19 so this is our answer right so this is it children hope you have understood all these questions in the next video also i am going to take up few more questions where we are going to find the value of a and b okay so uh, have a good day see you in the next video thank you